The Canola Council of Canada is a full value chain organization that represents life science and crop protection companies, farmers, the grain handlers and exporters, and processors. The Canola Council's mission is to advance the growth and profitability of the industry through innovation, resilience, and providing a superior product for the world. The Canola Council has worked together to develop a strategic plan called Keep It Coming 2025. The plan is about increasing production to 52 bushels an acre in order to meet the growing world demand of 26 million metric tons by 2025. We have three basic pillars. One is sustainable, reliable supply. The second one is differentiated value, so ensuring that farmers and the industry capture the value of their product. And the third pillar is trade and market access to make sure that canola and canola products can flow from Canada to our markets around the world. Canola is a significant business in Canada. It's the number one revenue generating crop for farmers. It contributes over $19 billion to the Canadian economy and almost a quarter of a million jobs. Global markets are critical to the success of the canola industry. We export 90% of what we grow and process in Canada. The entire value chain needs to work together to prevent export risk and maintain Canada's reputation as a high quality canola supplier. Innovation in crop protection products is extremely important to keep our industry competitive, but it must be done in a way that respects our export markets. Just like Canada, export markets have their own standards for food and feed safety, including pesticide residues. This means that the canola we export to these countries must be under their maximum residue limits. One challenge is that products can be registered in Canada before the maximum residue limits are set in our export markets. That means effectively the residue limit is zero. To address the challenge of lack of harmonization in global markets, the Canola Council has a policy of responsible commercialization. And what that means is crop protection companies voluntarily withhold selling the product until MRLs are established in our key export markets. This policy encourages the technology providers to meet the requirements of food and feed safety regulations in our key export markets. This means the technology provider is taking responsibility so the grower can meet the requirements of our key export markets. While products may be registered for use in Canada, it doesn't mean they're okay to use. In some cases, a registered product might result in residues that are unacceptable to the importing country. These countries can refuse shipments if they don't meet their residue standards. Our export customers test shipments regularly to make sure their standards are met, and these tests are becoming more and more precise. If a shipment is turned back because of an unacceptable residue, it can cost millions and millions of dollars in lost farm revenue, and it will also damage our reputation as a supplier of quality products. Because of these market access issues, exporters and processors in Canada might not want to buy canola that's been treated with these products. The Canola Council works with the entire value chain to prevent market access issues related to pesticide residues. This can include monitoring export requirements in markets around the world, working with companies to promote responsible commercialization of crop protection products, working with the Government of Canada to get MRLs established in key markets as quickly as possible, working to synchronize MRLs around the world, and promoting best practices with growers through our Keep It Clean campaign. Companies that develop and sell these products are responsible for stewarding them through the Canadian and international regulatory systems. It's important for life science and crop production companies to work with the value chain to identify which key markets require MRLs. They then have to work directly with the importing governments to establish MRLs before they sell the product in Canada. When exporters and processors sign a contract to deliver canola, they commit to meeting the requirements of the importing country, including pesticide residues. If the shipping vessel is rejected because it doesn't meet the pesticide residue requirements, the exporter or processor is liable for dealing with this stranded shipment. And they still have to fulfill the contractual obligation to deliver. To avoid unacceptable residues, growers need to follow three important points. 
Number one, use products that are registered. Number two, consult with grain handlers to ensure the product won't cause harm in key export markets. Number three, follow the label for rates and timing. Growers can visit keepingitclean.ca to find out more.